Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Marcos here, bringing you another performance deep dive. Today we're testing the brand new Lossless Scaling 3.0 with Frame Generation, a tool that promises to multiply your frame rates anywhere from 2 to an incredible 20 times. We'll see how it performs across different games and frame multiplication rates, evaluating its quality, performance, and, most importantly, latency. Can it deliver smoother gameplay without compromises? Stick around to find out. NVIDIA has just unveiled the 50 series GPUs with an exclusive multi-frame generation feature. This cutting edge technology promises to deliver RTX 4090 level performance in the new RTX 5070, which surprisingly is their most entry level model yet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the power of this new frame generation technology that works on any GPU and in any game. No need to invest in an expensive newly released graphics card. Welcome to the new lossless scaling interface, redesigned to be much more visually appealing and user-friendly. The updated layout makes it easier than ever to access all the key options at a glance. Whether you're looking to enhance your frame rates or fine-tune the balance between performance and image quality, the flexibility is now in your hands. What's even better is the addition of performance presets, allowing you to make adjustments tailored to your specific goals. Lossless Scaling Frame Generation 3.0 introduces a brand new architecture that significantly boosts quality, performance, and latency. Flickering and border artifacts are reduced with smoother motion clarity. GPU load is now up to 45% lower for higher multipliers, and latency is improved by 24% compared to the previous version. With an unlocked multiplier reaching up to X20, it's ideal for high refresh setups like 48 FPS at 240 Hz or 60 FPS at 360 Hz. Plus, features like resolution scale help optimize performance for higher resolutions. LSFG3 is a game changer for any setup. All right, guys, this is the absolute maximum FPS I've managed to squeeze out of the first Berserker, Kazan. But here's the thing. It's not just about doubling your base FPS. There are specific settings you need to tweak to unlock even better performance. Stick around, and I'll show you exactly how to push your game to the next level. The first step to boosting performance is reducing GPU usage, and here's how we'll do it. Using RevaTuner Statistics Server, we'll cap the frame rate at 60 FPS, significantly lowering GPU usage. From there, we'll dive into the settings. Starting with X2 Frame Generation Mode and the LS1 Scaling Method with Maximum Sharpness in Performance Mode. To push beyond your monitor's refresh rate, we'll turn Sync Mode off and set Max Frame Latency to 2. Finally, I recommend setting the Resolution Scale to 65% for optimal results. Let's unlock your system's potential step by step. Now, with just one click on the Scale button, we're about to double the FPS. Give it a few seconds to stabilize and boom! 120 FPS unlocked. But here's the exciting part. This is just the beginning. With a few more tweaks, we can push it even further. Let's see how far we can go. All right, now let's take things up a notch. How about tripling the FPS? With just one click, we're hitting an incredible 180 frames per second. But why stop there? Let me tell you why this makes such a difference in your gaming experience. At 180 frames per second, everything feels buttery smooth. From quick camera movements to split-second reactions, every input feels almost instantaneous. This level of performance completely transforms how you interact with the game, especially in fast-paced titles where timing is everything. The improved frame rate also means better motion clarity, making it easier to spot enemies or small details in the environment. Plus, if you're playing on a high refresh rate monitor, you'll finally be able to fully utilize that 144 Hz or 240 Hz display, delivering visuals that are not only stunning, but incredibly immersive. I didn't experience any increase in latency at all. All right, let's push things even further. Now we're going to multiply our frame rate by four. This is where things really start to shine. We switch to X4 mode, hit the scale button, and in just a few seconds, we're above 200 FPS. And guess what? The increase in latency is almost negligible, barely noticeable in terms of gameplay. At 200 frames per second, the experience is incredibly fluid. Every movement feels seamless, 
Every action crisp and responsive, and the gameplay becomes immensely immersive. The slight uptick in latency is so minimal that it doesn't even impact single-player games. You're still getting that smooth, uninterrupted flow, which is what matters most when you're playing at your own pace, soaking in the world without any distractions. So, whether you're exploring a vast open world or engaging in combat, 200 FPS delivers a whole new level of immersion. And the best part is, the latency increase is so small, it's not going to interfere with your experience at all. Now let's push the limits and test the maximum possible FPS multiplier in X20 mode. One click, wait a few seconds, and boom, we're over 400 FPS. Sounds amazing, right? Well, here's the catch. While it's impressive on paper, the actual experience isn't all that great. The screen gets flooded with artifacts. You'll see a ton of visual glitches and the overall clarity takes a big hit. On top of that, latency spikes to levels that make gameplay feel unresponsive. It's fun to test out, but I don't recommend playing this way. At these extreme settings, it's more about testing the limits than providing a smooth experience. So, while hitting 400 FPS is cool, the drawbacks are definitely noticeable when it comes to enjoying the game. All right, guys, let's talk about my experience playing Marvel Rivals with some frame rate tweaking. I started with a base FPS of 40, which I locked using Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Then, I decided to multiply that by six, aiming to hit a solid 240 FPS. And you know what? Despite pushing the frame rate this high, I didn't feel any noticeable increase in latency. The gameplay was incredibly smooth and responsive. Everything just felt more fluid. Now, I do want to mention that this was my first time playing Marvel Rivals, so my gameplay wasn't perfect. I was still learning the game and getting used to its mechanics. But the point here is that, even though I was still getting a feel for the game, the performance boost made a huge difference. The higher FPS made the controls feel more immediate, and I could actually see and react to what was happening on screen without any noticeable lag. For those of you who struggle with low frame rates or experience a lot of stuttering, I highly recommend giving this a try. Locking the FPS and using frame generation is a great way to make the experience more enjoyable, especially if you're used to dealing with poor performance. In my case, it worked really well and gave me that much needed smoother experience. Again, it wasn't about making me the best player in the game, far from it, but just about enjoying the game in a way that felt responsive. So. If you're someone who struggles with frame rate drops or stuttering, this method can really help elevate your experience. Overall, I was really impressed with how this simple frame rate boost made the game more playable. So, if you're dealing with performance issues in any game, give this a shot. It could really change how you experience it. Remember, sometimes a small tweak like this can make a big difference, especially if you're trying to get the most out of your hardware without spending on a high-end GPU. To wrap things up, the latest update to lossless scaling is a huge leap forward, offering incredible performance improvements, reduced latency, and better overall visual clarity. Whether you're looking to boost FPS, reduce GPU load, or simply get smoother gameplay, this update has you covered. The results speak for themselves, especially when you push it to higher multipliers. But remember, like any tool, it's all about finding the right balance for your setup and gaming style. If you've enjoyed the video and found the information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and performance tests. I've got plenty of content coming your way, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.